My name is Jenna Fox. I train at Central Illinois Combat Club in Canton. I just decided that this is what I want to focus on, and I've been making this my main focus. My name is Kim Woods. I'm out of Davenport. I live in Eldridge. Um, I train at Nick Tarpon School of Martial Arts. Uh, I try to get in as many workouts as I can. Um, usually just working bags, my cardio, um, ground game, just uh, overall trying to reinforce everything. This is everything I work for. I work hard every single day, mentally, physically. This never leaves my mind. She's got an impressive record, 8-0, which is uh, not something to be laughed at. Um, I'll do the best I can in there with her. I think uh, I'll give her a good fight, but I won't take her lightly. She's a uh, I mean, you get 8-0 for a reason, so looking forward to it. Every time I step in the cage, it's to better myself, and I hope that no matter how it ends, it ends respectfully. I, I respect her. I respect her record. Uh, we'll see who uh, comes out on top of them. They'll get their money's worth. makes her way to the cage, representing Central Illinois Combat Club with an impressive record of 9-0 out of Alexis, Illinois. I know you had an opportunity to interview her for uh, Ola America newspaper, so what were some of the highlights of the interview? I did. I had to get in on the history of this fight. First time ECRs has a women's bantamweight title on the line. Uh, and you know what? What I got out of that interview with her was she's so composed, knows what her strengths are, didn't intend for this to be a career when she first started, but really has embraced it. And, uh, you know, after she started rattling off win five and six and seven, kind of saw that this was for her, changed her diet up for this fight, really stepped up the intensity, still holds a job and trains. Right. And so I really got a lot of respect for her and uh, really got, has got a lot of weight carried to the fight tonight with uh, being the first title fight in ECR history. Of course, and I know she said that she dropped down in the weight class to 135 for this too. But, you know, a lot of times people think that, you know, dropping down in weight, it might be a little more difficult. But for her, she says she feels a whole lot more comfortable at 135. She said she got on the paleo diet, which is, uh, you know, no, no dairy, no nuts and, and grains and things like that. It's all, you know, it's almost like the old school caveman diet of, the, of you know, the things that you need. And uh, she said that the weight cut it was really easy. Uh, well, not that easy, but easier. And uh, really excited for this fight. Really wanted to be the person fighting for the title first in ECR history. So. Making her way to the cage in our 10th fight of the night, Kim Woods representing Nick Tarpon's martial arts with a record of 3 0 from Davenport, Iowa. Yeah, I know I didn't really get a chance to talk to Kim too much, but I know that she has a lot of experience. I'm sure she's looking to bring it to Fox early and often in this fight. This is one of those times where you don't look at the record and, uh, because 3-0, you would think that's not a lot of experience, but she has been doing this for a long time. Uh, a lot of buzz about this fight. A lot of people uh, telling me uh, that we need to be ready and watching this fight and get ready for an action fight, uh, action packed fight with Kim Woods. Uh, really testing uh, Jenna, Jenna Fox tonight. I'm really interested to see what everyone's or what each of the fighters' strategy is going to be, you know, starting off. I know there have to be some sort of jitters being in the ring, just like you would with any other fight, but when you have something like a, you know, a first ever women's ECR title fight, got to be a little bit more jitters than your normal just regular fight. Exactly, and Jenna talked about that a little bit about have definitely having some nerves coming into this fight uh, because it's the first title fight, but you know, with the record of 9-0 and um, and just having fought a few weeks ago and pulling off a win, uh, very confident in her skills and as she should be.
Rogers looking to go right down the business. No handshake, no nothing. Just ready to fight. Big kicks are ready for Woods Landing. Woods has got that open, open stance. And, uh, I got to say before, it's easy to uh, grab and that sidekick uh, lands a little bit, but yes. doesn't come through too hard for Woods. Definitely sort of stalking Fox at the moment trying to find that range to where she feels comfortable. You know, also, I mean, as, a, as a fighter, when you've got your opponent looking at you like that, big, big right. Big shot by Woods. Real st I mean, this is such a slow-paced fight right now for Woods, really just waiting for that shot. Big intensity, big yeah, kick. really strong Almost pick, got too. a big karate stance, too. Um, and, like, you, you know, even more so than the guys, I think, you can really see the intensity wow, of Woods' right. eyes right now. Really looking, looking for that big shot. Definitely has Fox ready for those punches. At this top. point, uh, I would look for look to see uh, Fox to counter that shot, and maybe go for the takedown and see what's going on on the ground because those shots are really coming in with bad intentions. Big shot too. Our right, leg already. To the oh, leg is already reddening up a little bit yep. on, on, on Fox. Excuse me. Fox is on doing a pretty good leg. job of moving around though, trying to change up her angle of attack. Fighters looking very calm in a, in a cage shoe. Kim Woods doing a very good job of stalking Fox early and really establishing that dominance in the cage. Like I said, that's where uh, you would think it'd be the other way around with Fox being 9-0 and Woods being 3-0, and but um, that's why I said records aren't, aren't everything. Definitely not. Fox looking to do a sweep, but Woods uh, having nothing of it. Looking for a suplex maybe for self or looking to trip Big shots up top by Woods. Woods needs to, excuse me, Fox needs to circle away from the cage and get back. Really wasn't hard to definitely there, doesn't want to be right up against that cage wall. End of the first round. Very nice first round from Woods. But I, I have to give Fox some props too because, you know, she was able to withstand some of those shots. I think she's definitely going to have to think about what her strategy is at this point and maybe change it up a little bit. She was gonna, like I said, wanted to shoot early uh, and really, you know, uh, Woods is really loading up on the right hand and looking to land in and then going for the knockout. So when you've got that, you really counter that, duck under, and shoot for the takedown. And I think that's where Jenna's gonna see that she is, uh, you know, it's more of right now in this fight because that first round definitely goes for Woods. with the cardio of both of these ladies too. Neither look very tired at all. Definitely ready to get the second round going. We go with round two. We'll see what, what Fox does now knowing some of that power. Really coming through and laying a few shots on Woods herself. Both Woods looking to turn it on too. Big knees coming through from Woods to Fox. I like Fox's aggressiveness at the she start. Big shots landing again. Body shots from Woods to Fox. And some of those came through. Like we said, I respect that, knowing that what was going on, and really took the fight to Woods, knowing that the first round really didn't go towards her. And trying to impose her will and take advantage of this going in to this second round. Big, big knees to the, to the inner thigh of Woods. Really trying to get, get a little space. And right now, just working. Woods up against the cage. Woods throwing knees close didn't go through. Right. Woods definitely trying to switch positions right now. And a 
big knee open right there. Knee was actually open for Woods, but uh, Fox, excuse me, Woods took advantage of that. And like I said, here's where you just don't see and appreciate that hand, the hand game of both fighters. Woods doing a good job. Big knee by Fox. Fox is right there back here the cage. Big knee. Right, and it's little things like that that give you just you know that split second so you can sort of change the momentum of the fight. Jenna is almost caught here in, in a choke, but doesn't but Woods doesn't have her full forearm which under the neck. Fox really doing a good job listening to her corner right now and listening for the leg sweep. It almost gets you the leg sweep as yep. well. Hearing instructions from her corner and trying those things out. Woods getting some nice body shots in, even though she's caught in the clutch a little bit. Here's where Jenna's in, almost gonna get caught in the guillotine, but gonna get saved by the bell. saved by the bell. But a definitely a better round for Fox this go around as opposed to the first one. Exactly. She did very well with trying to, uh, with keeping out of harm's way as far as even it's caught in that choke. Um, didn't, you know, she was caught in the guillotine. She was caught in the naked. I really like the aggressiveness of Woods. Um, she has a, a game plan and she's definitely imposing that on Fox at the moment. Too, I mean, you can, and like I said, vis visually you can see that both fighters are in shape. Um, going into the third round, cardio's definitely going to be checked right here. Uh, Fox did a good job of starting that round off, but it did definitely go to Woods again, I believe, if you're going on the judge scorecard for judging takedowns and, and judging. But I will say that judges also ju um, judge on uh, escapes and, and things like that, too. So, as so I said, you know, the judges, but so we've got three full rounds left in this. Historic ECR women's bantamweight title fight. And Fox immediately starts to jab, establish the jab and take the fight to Woods. Woods again looking to counter. You know, she's still sort of stalking, but Fox is definitely taking advantage of it. Fox back a little bit. And Jenna really needing to land that big shot that she hasn't quite landed yet. So yeah, Woods has been able to get a few really big shots in, but Fox hasn't been able to do that yet. I'm wondering exactly what you know she's getting from her corner right now. If they're telling her to be aggressive like that, or if they want her to, to lay back a little bit and avoid the striking ability of Woods. You can also tell too, it's, it's very hard. For Fox to fight because Woods is almost in a karate stance, and, as, and for MMA, that's really hard to uh, to counter things like that. The stance is different, the whole style is different. So Fox really needs to push the pace too. It does look like uh, Woods is slowing down just a little bit. Yeah, a bit. little bit. You can see her breathing through her mouth a little bit. Kicked it, land through. Fox trying to. Some combinations now, which the kick landed, so it was good. And return kick from Woods there. And I'd really like to see a, a big takedown from Fox and to see what she's got going on. Like right. I said, I, I've seen her win some fights with the submission game, and uh, I'm curious to see what she can do with Woods, uh, but it's just getting there. Right. Is the task. Exactly. 
exactly. And, and you know, as this, as this round goes on, you'd have to think that Woods is able to get her, her win back a little bit because she hasn't done too much in this round. And, if you, and just by looking too, you hit the Jennifer Fox is the bigger of the two fighters. Right. And so we have a little bit more strength to, you know, wrestle her down to the mat. Really nice left hand to the top by uh, Fox right there. We got a Central Illinois Combat Club. Definitely has got some wrestlers there. Um, so I know that's in her arsenal, but like I said, easier said than done when we're over here with the microphones. But still with that stalker mentality, um, just really walking her down and, and landing a kick there and just Yeah, she's, really she's definitely controlling the cage right now. She's not really going for a whole lot of, you know, offense from that, but she's definitely commanding the cage herself. especially from Woods, but like you said, she tried to steal it a little bit at the very end, but was able to get a, a glance and shot on Fox. Pretty even round going into that, or ending that one. Um, I would have uh, Fox up on the, or Woods up on the cards. That was a pretty neutral round, so it's still anybody's uh, fight. I have to think that Bob Long is in the corner of Fox telling her to, uh, you know, go, go to that ground game. Go look for the takedowns, look for the single leg, um, counter some of those punches. There's not a whole lot of punches to be, you know, punching times to counter, but capitalize on the times that you've given. I would think that Woods' corner is telling her that, you know, she needs to be cautiously aggressive. You know, she's probably up at the very least by one round, but she has to be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more active than she was in the last round. She's coming out trying to be a little bit more aggressive. As is Woods. Good combination from Woods. Big kick and punch landed. Catches the kick. He needs a punch because of it. Woods really turning it on now and trying to land a few more shots. Fox backing up a little bit. Woods continuing to command the cage, you know. It's got to be kind of hard for Fox to get anything going when she's constantly moving back and, I, and, and adjusting I, to her opponent. Exactly. I've got a comment, too, on the corner of Fox telling her that, you know, keep, she's going to kick. We all know she's going to kick. And uh, to really catch that kick and do something and, and throw a spinning backhand as Woods and, and Fox able to get out of the way of it. But that was going to definitely have been a lights out. Right. It's one of those things where, you, you know, you get so used to circling around the cage and, you kind of counter it and throw something like that, and you get really caught off guard. But fortunately, Fox wasn't, didn't do that. You see Woods kind of fainting with her knee a little bit and legs now, too. Those are really good things to throw at the end of a fight because, you know, you sort of get used to a routine as you go. And I'd like to see some more fainting from, from Fox as well right now, really uh, mixing up and, and almost giving that Diaz uh, pitter-patter, just throwing some shots out there. you got to be landing some shots and throwing for points, too. You know, it's like we've always talked about. We don't want to think about MMA being a points game, but it definitely is. Big right hand shot by Big shots from Woods landing, and Fox is going to need to do something in this right now in this round. Of, another big move by shot Woods, too. Woods. Really surprised Fox hasn't tried to tie up Woods and take her to the ground at this point, but you know, every time she's tried, she's Woods right there with the shot. Woods definitely content right now to sit and counter everything that Fox throws. And here's where you've got to throw combinations because you throw one kick and one punch, um, easily countered. You throw two, three, and four. Um, you don't 
sometimes you don't see that third and fourth one coming, and those are the ones that land. There we go, big double leg, or single leg, excuse me. And that's what I've been waiting to see. It takes her down. Definitely listen to her corner right there. You can hear Bob Long tell her to, to do that right before she decided to do it. Has to be really careful to, to give up her back. It stays heavy on that leg, really driving through. And here's where you can see some of the gentle thoughts that I think people were waiting to see. Great way to steal that round. That, you know, that's a perfect example of somebody stealing around. Um, not a whole lot of action going on, but two big takedowns at the end definitely takes that round. Right, and, and in the eye of the judges, you know, that could have been up for grabs until that last 20 seconds. Exactly, and, that, and that's what we've been waiting for. She waited to counter and really got it. Got the fifth and final round coming up here. I'm expecting to see both of these ladies who are in great shape finish really strong. This is where we're gonna see both fighters really lay it all on the line. First title for ECR on the line. That's gotta be a lot weighing on you. You want that first, be the first person to have that belt and keep it. So I really like to see both fighters really throw and lay it on the line. Right, well, great right. sign of respect for Woods to Fox and Fox right back. I really have a feeling that Woods has been sort of saving a little bit for right now. And here's where Fox Woods, excuse me, needs to go for that takedown early, so she has some time to play on the ground. Um, she got it so late in the last round that, you know, the bell rang before she even got a chance to do anything. So I'd like to see her do it real early on here in the first minute. Yeah, especially if she has an opportunity to counter, you know, because Woods is turning a little bit on those kicks and leaving her side open. She might be able to shoot and grab a one leg and take that. There we go. Looking for that takedown again, but gets caught almost in the guillotine. Tries to stay with that single leg. Really drive forward, but Woods right there on the top of her. Digging into the body. Looks up. She's trying to get over to the to the cage a little bit, so she might be able to get up. Looking for the arm bar, sneaking in. And, and Fox really looking for the arm bar. Almost had it right there, too. Almost. Uh, but uh, Woods sneaking on top. Looks to have uh, Fox, Fox doing a good job of, you know, staying on her side as opposed to be flat on this her back. Great. She's really just created in her head and really can drop some big shots in. And, and you know, and Jenna Fox has got to be careful not to leave it on. trying to do her best to hang in right now. Yeah, real dangerous position for Fox right here. Doesn't have to worry about the, the fist coming down, but it's gonna have to worry about that rear naked. Lots of credit to Woods for just laying it on and a lot to Jenna Fox too for surviving that. Coming to the end of the round, and here's where Woods probably is gonna pour it on and let it all hang out here. Uh, Woods doing a great job of finishing that fight really strong. When you get an opportunity to, to fight for a belt, you really have to dominate the fight. And I think Woods was able to dominate that fight pretty much from start to finish. She stalked her opponent. She was able to turn it on, turn it off, 
and able to pretty much impose her will on Fox, and it wasn't too much that Fox was able to do. And like you said, too, she established that early. She came out and brought the fight to Fox. Uh, didn't let the fight uh, 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 get to her. Really, uh, really earned, earned that win tonight. I have to give a great show for both, too. Ladies, get your stuff ready because Miss Woods is going to be tough to take down. <laughs> 